Okay, compound libraries and drug design. The drug we're looking for is a cure for zombification. It's going to take a lot of time. These are time intensive ideas and a lot of money to use a compound library. So here are our poor zombies. A compound library contains lots and lots of related chemicals. And you have to do experiments on these. Oh dear me, no one frisked that guy for grenades. Run away, oh dear me. Okay, well that's half our problem anyway. If we go outside, we can see lots of scientists working on these drugs. This could be like bromobenzene, fluorobenzene, iodobenzene, fluorobromobenzene, iodofluoroacetatinobenzene, and many, many, many different sorts of these related compounds make up a compound library. Now we're going to test them one by one. All right then, let's see if this will cure the zombie plague. Just pop it in here. Excellent. What that big flashing red light means. Well, I'm going to run away. Oh, and now I'm going to run back again. Oh, it looks like it was the cure. The little head crabs have turned back into birds. Oh, and they've turned into Teletubbies. This wasn't supposed to happen. Well, since the experiment's a success, my compound library did contain a compound that was useful. I'm just going to take the money and run.